Hey, good morning. Welcome back to the channel, Rhino Fishing TV. I'm getting a late start this morning uh, because uh, it rained all night and all day yesterday, and it's kind of windy this morning. Let me see if I can uh, get you an indication of that if I zoom up here into the treetops. I don't know. Maybe not. How about how about over there? Yeah. So anyway, I'm getting a late start because it's going to be breezy out there on the lake and the winds forecast to kind of like taper off as the day wears on. So I'm kind of dragging my feet a little bit. Uh, but what I'm planning on doing today is an MTB slam with the June box that I got a few days ago. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll uh, put a link to it up here uh, where I unboxed all that stuff and gave you a close up look at those lures but just real quick I'll open up the box here and give you a, a real quick look at what I'm going to be fishing with so probably uh, that this is the one that gives me the most concern it's the frog from blitz lures uh, I just don't think the conditions are going to be real good for uh, frog fishing today but I got that I got a couple of crankbaits including uh, this one from Jinko Fishing and this one from Lucky Craft pretty confident about those. I got a bag of soft plastics and they are craws from bruiser baits and I got a jig. Ugh. I forget who that jig's from. Thunderhawk is the name of that jig and it's a swim jig. I'm calling it a grass jig. Not real happy about that. And then I got some terminal tackle. I got a couple of Mustad 4 aught EWGs here. I'll probably leave these in the package uh, since there's only two of them because I already have an EWG tied on that I can use for those craws. Uh, but anyway, it looks like I need to catch five fish to complete the slam. I'm pretty confident I can get bit on at least four of those things. Uh, that frog gives me some concern given the conditions, but we'll see what we can do. So uh, let me get loaded up and uh, I'll see you at the lake when I get there. All right, we're at the lake and underway. And I forgot to mention that I would like to thank Mystery Tackle Box for sponsoring this video. If you haven't checked them out, you can do so at the URL in the description down below and use code RHINO at checkout if you're interested in subscribing and you can get your first box for as little as 10 bucks. Pretty good deal and it's a lot of fun. But we're gonna see if we can catch something on all the baits in this box that I just showed you. And now that I'm here at the lake, the wind's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's blowing out of the northeast. I don't know, I'd probably call it five miles per hour. But if I want to fish this frog effectively, I think I need to go over to the other side, which is where I'm heading. So it'll be a little bit wind protected. And hopefully I can get bit on it pretty quickly. I'll really fish it hard for at least half an hour. And... Uh, Hopefully I can catch something on it quickly or at least get enough blow-ups on it to make me want to keep fishing it. We'll see what happens. Anyway, I've got it tied on and got my fingers crossed on that one. So I'm going to go ahead and kill the camera until I get in position over here and I'll bring you right back. Alright, we are approaching the target spot. This frog that I have tied on is like one of those popper style frogs. And I don't throw frogs very much. I know I probably should, but I don't. I'm gonna throw this one for a while, see what happens. I do have a rod dedicated to frogging, which is what I'm using. And it's a Akuma TCS series frog swim bait rod and I think it's a 7.2 or something like that maybe a 7.1 or 7.3 I don't remember and I've got it paired with my loose tournament MB which they don't sell anymore but this is a high speed one I think it's 8.3 to 1 gear ratio and I'm throwing 50 pound braid on here There's one on the frog. Look at that. He's pretty good too. I'm gonna net him. 
come over here. I was just about to say I'm four minutes into throwing the frog and nothing seems interested in it. And lo and behold, this was my least lowest confidence bait this morning. And and I hate to say these words because it's horrible grammar. But he choked it. But what I mean by that is he choked on it. He's a pretty nice fish. Let me get that, that frog out of its throat. Fell right out. And I need to get his length because I'm also trying to participate in the National Bass League online tournament for June. So I need to get a I need to put five in the boat for that. So here's number one. And I gotta get his picture. Sweet. Get you back in the water real quick there, buddy. What do I do here? There we go. Alright, well that's one bait down in less than five minutes. But it happened so quick, I'm kind of I want to throw it a couple more times before I go to the next thing. That made me happy. All right, I'm going to go ahead and cut that frog off, and I'm going to put that jig back on the same same rig here. All right, I've got that jig rigged up, and there it is. And I put a little 3.3 inch Guggen Bates Saucy Swimmer on there as a trailer. So uh, this is my next lowest confidence bait for the slam. But uh, see if we can get it done quickly the way we did that frog. It looks pretty good in the water. I uh, don't have a lot of experience with swim jigs, but I assume when it's not too much different than fishing a spinner bait without the spinner. By the way, if you would like to have the baits that are in this box that I'm fishing, you can, because I'm going to give all this stuff away, at least what's left of it after I do this slam. And all you got to do to win it is be a subscriber to my channel, like the video, and leave me a comment down below. You can comment anything you'd like, but let me know which of these baits you would have been most concerned about on a day like today. After I get this jig out of the way, I'm pretty confident in the other three baits, the two crankbaits and that craw. And oh, by the way, I did end up rigging that craw on the mustad hooks that came in the box, one of them anyway. And I'll probably just leave it on that hook and put it back in the package for the giveaway. There's one on the jig. Oh my goodness. Might have a good slam today, folks. Check that out. He ate that one. He's a dink, but makes me happy. See, uh, see the jig in his face? Okay. Back in the water you go. All right, y'all. Confidence is now high. I'm completing the five fish slam. I have now moved to the Lucky Craft crankbait. If I can get it un unsnarled here, it's all hung up on its own hooks. This is a 2.0 size crankbait. I don't ordinarily throw them that large in this lake. Maybe I should. While I'm sitting here retrieving this crankbait, let me put in a plug for the National Bass League. It's an online tournament. They have a weekend tournament once a month and you're just competing for prize packages you know tackle little tackle prize packages and angler of the year if you live in a place where you can consistently catch bigs um, but it's a lot of fun uh, it's not a huge group of people that participate uh, but I really have enjoyed it over the past few years they run that tournament over on Facebook and uh, so if you go to Facebook and search National Bass League you'll see them and uh, you know, request to join the Facebook group, and I think that's all there is to it, then you're in. And then you just gotta go check out the tournament dates and print out your little indicator card, or you don't have to do that, but you'll have to check 
at the beginning of tournament weekend to see what the code word is that will need to show up in your fish photos. Check out the rules on which measuring boards are allowed, all that kind of stuff. Well, I got a fish on the crankbait. He made a impressive sounding splash. He's not making an impressive pull though. Oh, he is now. Oh, it's a catfish. <laughs> Weird. It counts. It's a fish. <laughs> what are you doing, Mr. Catfish? All right, so I'm not real smart on identifying catfish. So you guys tell me what kind that is. Is that a flathead? What is that? What kind of fish is that? Pretty sure it's not a bullhead, and I know it's not a blue. This is like the out of the six or seven years I've been fishing this lake. I think that's only the second catfish I've ever caught. The last one was uh, I caught on a plastic worm, hooked him in the back somehow. Strange. Yep. <laughs> well, there was a bass out there playing around. So. Here comes one on the Lucky Craft crankbait. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, change out the crankbait. All right, we're back and re-rigged with the next crankbait from Jinko Fishing, and it's called the CD2. Don't know what that stands for, but it's a nice looking crank. I actually like the looks of it better than the Lucky Craft one. Gizzard Shad, I think, is the color on this one. And I like throwing Texas rigs. So I really had pretty high confidence in that one, and I have gotten bit on it once already. Just couldn't get the hook set. So the slam is shaping up pretty good. Let's try Mr. Crawl a little bit right in here. And there's a fish on the crawl. Stay pinned. All right. Done. Happy to have you. All right, we are now down to just the Jinko Fishing crankbait to complete the slam. And after I've done that, I will move on to other lures that I feel like throwing. That last one just came on the Bruiser Baits Mac Daddy Craw combo with the Mustad hook. So that was kind of a twofer. So that's four out of five done. And now I just got to get something to eat this crankbait. Shouldn't be difficult. It's a crankbait, for crying out loud. There's, ooh, there's one on the crank. It's tiny, what is it? Perch, yep. Kind of figured that might be. All right, that's gonna count for the slam. So the slam is complete, but I'm gonna keep throwing this thing in hopes that I'll get a bass on it. Little fella, you got that thing right in your eyeball. Sorry about that. Slam complete. I'd like to claim a bass on each of these if I could. Really feel like I ought to be able to get that bass on this crankbait. Maybe by throwing it on this treetop over here. There he is. Thought so. Oh, he's a nice one. He'd be, he'd be good for the, the, the tournament. Good jumping. All right, all right. You want to be a 14? How about that? He's feisty. All right, the slam is now officially complete. 
Yay! First successful one I've had in quite a while. So I'm going to put these baits all back in the box so I don't risk losing them for the giveaway. I'll be back with you shortly. All right, we're back. And what I now have tied on are weightless stick bait. It's a Guggen Squad Lunker Log and Watermelon Red Flake. What I just threw out there. And that got a drop shot. I just got bit on that lunker log. And I got a crankbait tied on. That's the IMA suspending vibration suspending one. I have fished it and mentioned it before. One of my favorites. I'm happy to have that slam complete. Usually struggle with those things. I was pretty optimistic after getting bit on that frog so quickly as well as that swim jig. There's a fish. And the lunker log from the treetop over there. He will uh, finish out my five for the National Bass League thingy. There's one. On that crankbait, he is small. He is a crappie, I think. Yep. What is that? Hello there, fishy. No, oh, I'm gonna put you back. There was one there. What is it? Little, little bitty, little bitty fella. Don't really feel a need to take your picture. There's a little fella. Mm -hmm. Not so bad. There's one I didn't feel. What is that? That's a bass. No, it's not. It's one of these guys. a slimy guy. I'm kind of surprised I haven't seen you yet today. I'll throw you away. Well, that was a lot of fun. Head back home now, but I'm pretty happy with today's fishing. Got the MTB slam done. And uh, remember, if you'd like to win all the baits that are in that MTB that I just got that slam on, like, comment, and subscribe. That's all there is to it. I'll announce the winner in my next video. Probably will be next weekend. But as always, I want to thank you for watching, and uh, I hope you're out there having a good time on the water somewhere or outdoors. And I hope you're all healthy, happy. Until next time, we will see you soon.